Ladies and gentlemen, this is Suleiman Umar Jallo Mojalanta Jaido, literally Suleiman Umar Jallo, the one who does not laugh with any idiots, but you guys already know that. Today, I am here for another lesson. It's going to be a short and nice one. And I think you guys are going to learn a lot from this one. And today, the topic is favorite. It's lying. Like, how do you say somebody is lying? Like, I use this, I'm, I'm using this word because I know that a lot of time in, in like casual conversation, you know, it's easy to say somebody stop lying or you're lying or why you're lying and things like that. So I want to teach you how to properly uh, say that in the beautiful Fulani language. In Fulani language, the word that we use for lying is feure. Feure is singular and pene is a plural for that. So one lie and many lies. Feure, a pene. Okay? So, so if... If, for example, if, for example, you want to tell somebody stop lying, you say "achu feure," "achu," "achu" means stop, "achu dum," stop it, "achu," stop it, stop lying, "achu feure," "achu feure," stop lying. Okay. Uh, another way, another way to say it is "takita feure." "Takita feure" is like quit lying, like "mido taki no taki" is like sticking. So takita feure is like don't don't stick yourself to to a lie like do not stick with the lie right stick away or like part yourself from from lying takita feure all right so that's uh that's how it is um to say big lie we say feure maune big lie feure maune or if it's a plural we say pene maude feure maune pene maude Big lie or big lies, okay? Feure bonde or pene bonde. Feure bonde or pene bonde is like a really bad, bad lie. Like there's a lie, like where you just lie, simple lie. But feure bonde is like when you say feure bonde, it's like a big, fat, ugly lie. Feure bonde or pene bonde. But usually it's just in the singular. I'm just giving you the plural so that you guys know how to um, how to use it. I taught you earlier how to say uh, stop lying at your favorite. Favorite water. Favorite water means uh, favorite is not good. Like lie is not good. Kowad is beautiful. Kowada is something that's not beautiful. So favorite water. Favorite is not beautiful. At your favorite, favorite water. So if you want to, if you want to uh, surprise your parents or your sisters, your brothers who are speaking full full day and they don't think you speak full full day, well, I guess don't tell your parents they're lying, but you know, if somebody is lying, you can say at your favorite water. So stop lying. Lying is very bad. So if somebody is talking to you and you're having, if you are having a conversation with somebody and you guys are just talking casually and then he lie, you can look at him and you can say, Dumko feure. Dumko feure. This is a lie. You're lying. Like you're lying. Dumko feure. Or you can just say, feure non. Dumko feure or feure non. That means this is a lie. Okay. Mira feure. It's like if somebody's just lying to you, you can look at him and say, Mira feure fa. Like in Niger, people usually say, Mira feure fa, meaning I don't like feure. I don't like lies. Stop lying to me. I don't like lies. So, at you feure, mira feure. Stop lying. I do not enjoy. I don't like lies. All right. I don't, I don't appreciate lies. Okay. So, mira feure. Or, pati. Pati penanakam, like towards Mali or Burkina Faso, they, they use a pati. Pati like, you know, pati penanakam, pati is, I think is substitute for stop. Pati penanakam, it's like don't, don't lie to me. Pati penanakam, Burkina Faso, Mali, a little bit in Niger too. Pati penanakam, so do not lie to me. Or in Niger, for the same thing in Niger, we say ta'afenanam, ta'afenanam fa. Moto penanakam, ta'afenanam, e pati penanakam is the same thing. Ta fenanam, ta fenanam, moto fenanam, or pati fenanam. It's the same thing. Pati fenanakam, ta fenanam, moto fenanakam. Same thing. All right. So this is, uh, I guess, few conversational uh, ideas or, or, or tips for for using uh, the word lying in fulfill the language. So this is something when you know somebody's talking and they lie, you can say at your so stop lying. This is a lie. I do not like or appreciate lies. 
All right, so how do we conjugate the verb to lie in the present tense? And, and I'm going to give it to you in the past te tense and then in the present tense because those are the most used tenses, right? Not in the future. I'm not going to say, oh, I'll lie to you tomorrow, you know? A lie is either now I'm lying or I lied. But it's rare to say, to see instances where people say, I will lie to you tomorrow or I'll lie in the future. Even though it happened, you know, I could say, you know, Mr. Nanan, Jang so I'm going to lie to my professor or my teacher. Well, I shouldn't, but you can use that. So uh, in the present, let's start with the past, actually. In the past, past for the past tense, we can say mi feni, mi feni. And usually, generally, if you, if you hear a Fulani verb ending with an I sound, like, uh, you know, feni, that I sound is like in the past. Mi yehi, I went. Mi feni, I lied. Minyami, I ate. So it's all finished. It all, they all end with I. So that's how you know it's in the past. Mifeni is I lied. Afeni, you lied. Ofeni, he lied. He or she lied is Ofeni. So in Fulani, he or she is just, oh, it's just, it's easy. And then if you're saying we lied, we can say empeni, so I'm included. If I'm saying you lied, it's like a group of people I'm talking to and I'm, I'm excluded for this case. I'm excluded from the group. I can say you lied. I would say on penny. And then if I'm saying they lied, it's like I'm designing a group of people that lied, I can say be penny. Okay, so you can hear that sound, ni, like the I sound, it's like Italian. It's like the vowels. For the for the present tense, we say mi fenan, meaning I'm lying now, mi fenan non, I'm lying. If something we're talking and you say, Are you lying? I can say mi fenan non, uh, meaning I'm lying. Or afenan, no. If somebody tell me a lie, look at me in the eye and say afenan, no. Afenan. Afenan, meaning you are lying. Ofenan, meaning he is lying. This is the present sense, as opposed to the past sense where we say ofeni, which is past. But ofenan is like he's doing it right now. He's lying. And I can, and so in a, let's say two brothers are talking and one is lying and the other one can jump in and say he's lying. He say ofenan, no, ofenan, no, no. Okay. He's lying, he's lying. All right. So, present stands for we are lying. We say, empenan. Empenan, no. You know, let's not do that. But, you know, just for the tutorial's sake, empenan, no. Uh, you are lying, I'm excluded, empenan. Okay. And they are lying, empenan. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's lesson. Favorite. At your favorite, stop lying. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you like it. And I hope you benefit from it. And I hope you can try to use it and see how, how it goes. Uh, and if in other countries, I'm sure in Guinea and Senegal, it's going to be a different word because those guys always have a different word from us. So uh, I would like to know how uh, you say lie in, in your language, in your country, in your, in your tribe, in your culture. How do you say lie? Please let me know. I hope you appreciate the video and I rest uh, my case.